A Democrat from Austin is trying to eliminate the tax on feminine products and baby care items. She's been doing it every session since 2017. This year, the legislation is closer to passing, though. Fox 7 Austin's Kayla Severi joins us live at the state capitol where she sat down with Representative Donna Howard about eliminating the pink tax. Hey, Kelly. Good morning, Casey. She said she was inspired by teenagers who had, been, who had been advocating for this to the legislature. She says this would also help eliminate the stigma surrounding periods, something she says that she faced herself in her young adulthood into adulthood and says that because groceries and over-the-counter drugs are already exempt from this tax, she believes that these baby care items and feminine products should also be exempt from sales tax as well. Many states have excluded these products from sales tax in recent years. According to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, diapers can cost nearly $100 a month per child. Some families may choose to keep their baby's diaper on for too long or reuse diapers, which is bad for a baby's health. One study showed 56% of parents who needed child care to work had to stay home because they lacked the diapers to send their kids to child care with. A study of low-income women found a correlation between depression and lack of diapers as well. Well. At a time when we have a $32.7 billion surplus, there's a lot more willingness to look at uh, this kind of an exemption, which is very small compared to the amount of revenue that we have. And there are many other items that are already exempt from sales tax. We don't tax food. We don't tax medical supplies. There's a lot of things that we don't tax because we want to make sure that people can access those without the burden of the sales tax. So this is not particularly an unusual thing. Um, it is something that helps a whole lot of families. And, uh, you know, it, it, at this point in time with the budget surplus that we have, it seems like it's a real opportunity to give some of this money back to Texans in, in the form of, of these everyday essentials that families need. The bill has been okayed in the House and ex is expected to go to the Senate Finance Committee at this point. Back to you. Kayla Zuberi, thank you so much.